So welcome. The technology has shifted with these live Facebook videos and it goes live a little bit before it says it goes live, so I believe that as I'm talking with that, I'll just refilm this. But welcome. So today I wanted to share with you guys tennis ball foot therapy. So it's called tennis ball foot therapy because often we use tennis balls. I don't actually have a tennis ball. I don't use a tennis ball. Tennis balls can be nicer and softer for some people's feet and it's preferable. Some people prefer to use harder balls. So maybe a um, lacrosse ball can also be good. It's about the size of a tennis ball, but it's firmer. Uh, you can use a golf ball, although I do warn you that can be a little bit challenging and because it's so hard, although I used a golf ball for years. And I use a ball that's very similar in size to a golf ball and it is an acupressure ball. So any kind of foot massage ball can be used here. And this is a short, very short practice. And I do this practice every day before I come to the mat for my own practices. And so what we do is we just roll the bottom of the feet out. So we'll take the balls down. And I encourage you to do this tennis ball or this ball foot therapy before every one of your practices. And we work the feet out and we release the fascia in the feet. It releases the fascia line up the backs of the leg, the backs of the body, wrapping around here the back of the skull, and the fascia line hooks on the eyebrows. So we release that much fascia, and then we also bring some grounding into the awareness with the massage on the feet. If you need to, you can hold a wall or a chair, or you can take the hands at the hips or fingertips, and this is called Hakini Mudra, or forming a globe with the hands in front of the chest, the chest. Now we'll take our ball and we'll start with the heel. And we roll the ball underneath the heel. And we're breathing easy. And some people even like to press the ball into tender points along the heel. Now the practice that I do, I don't go any further with this practice. But, and you can, there's more that we can do with this practice, but I just roll out my feet. Once I'm done rolling out my heel, I bring the art or the ball now to the sole or the arch of the foot, and we're still breathing, balancing, if you need to. We can roll it along that lateral arch towards the blade of the foot, and then back towards here, the center of the foot, into the medial part of the foot here. And you can even press the ball into any of the tender points on the sole of the foot, in the arch. We're still breathing. And then we slide here now the ball back and forth across those toe mounds. And on the other side of the toe mounds is our toe knuckles. And we can see them usually in our hands, most of us, but we can't always see them in our feet. Now I've been doing this for 10 years or more and I still don't really see, see the knuckles in my feet. So maybe you'll see, see your toe knuckles one day and maybe you won't. And then we press the ball into each individual toe mount. Just lean here, the weight of the body. Be mindful as we breathe. And then maybe even stretching the toes over the ball. Allowing the flesh, hugging the skull to soften its grip. So I go one way, and then I go the other way, back towards the big toe. And I roll the ball under the arches one more time. And then taking the ball off to the side for a moment, pausing here, standing about feet, hip distance apart. Noticing how we feel, right to left. We'll take that ball back over you know, to the opposite foot, the left heel. So using a wall or 
steadying yourself with a chair and then rolling the ball over the heel. Breathing easy. And maybe pressing the ball into tender points on the heel. Relaxing the jaw. And then rolling the ball now through the arches. Start here at the blade, the heel edge of the foot, and then draw it towards the medial side. And back and core. Maybe we need to exhale. Let out a sigh. And then pressing the ball with any tender points in that part of the foot. Now, rolling the ball back and forth underneath those toe mounds. And pressing the ball into each individual toe mound from the big toe to the pinky toe. And then back towards the big toe. And we stretch toes over the ball, right down into that toe cleavage. And we go one way and then back the other way. And we roll the ball underneath the arch of the foot one more time. And picking the ball off to the side, pause here, standing once again. Side if you need to. And that, Breathing Fire Yogis, is our ball, our tennis ball foot therapy. And you can do that once a day, as often as you'd like. And I recommend you do it before your practices or before exercise. See you all soon.